the Muppet! Yay! Diddy, come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask Them as You Playboy with the glasses. What should the next Muppet Show slash movie be? That's a very good question. And the answer is, it's gotta do something with Batman. Because you can't have a really good movie without Batman. Why? Because I'm Batman! But besides that point, I think a Batman would be wonderful. Because you could combine two iconic classics. Batman and the Muppet. Just like when Space Jam combined Michael Jordan with Looney Tunes. And guess how that worked out. I'm telling you. You do a plot that involves Batman, you're instantly going to get a hit. Besides, it's not like any of the Hollywood actors can come up with anything as creative as my intelligent mind can. Think, people. No, seriously. Note to Hollywood. You need to be more creative. You are goddamn lazy with your goddamn movies nowadays. That's where I come in. Batman movie. Or better yet... If you really want to go down the path of darkness, a Playboy type movie! You know, starring Hugh Hefner, the ageless wonder, who will never die, but I'll still get his mansion. But that's besides the point. Have him be in a Muppet movie! And by golly, can the possibilities be endless! Wink, guacamole! Yes. Now, if you're wondering what the plot would be, I'll let Commander Loser hit, uh, I'll let him talk about this one. Hey, Commander Loser, stop calling me that! Yeah, 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 whatever. What do you think the plot would be for a Batman-type Muppet movie? Oh, I'd say Miss Piggy gets captured, Kermit has to save the day, and with the sidekick of Batman... Wrong! Now, what about the one with Hugh Hefner? I'm not fucking doing a plot for that one! That's gross! You do it! Okay. Pool party! That's all you need to know. What is the current status of Kermit and Miss Piggy? Well, you know, they've been on and off and even on the show. Not the Muppet Show, but the most recent show of the Muppets that got the boot, unfortunately. They were on and off and looked like they are going to be on again. Well, they're off. Because Miss Piggy is currently in my possession. As a matter of fact, she's right over there. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? Eat your heart out, Kermit the Frog! Yes. Will Fozzie the Bear ever be as funny as George Carlin? Um, let me think. It's on the very tip of my tongue. Ooh, it's a tough one. And now, of course not! Have you seen his fucking acts? They're nowhere near as funny as George Carlin. Besides, what's his nuts and the other what's his nuts? The two geezers that, like, to critique people about as great as the commander loser. Hey! Actually, I scratched that. Not as great. Better than the commander loser. Stop it! They are ripping out Fozzie the Bear. I'm surprised he doesn't get the hook whenever the hell he tells a funny joke. That's not funny. Like the one time when, oh, I don't know, he talked about a chicken in a banana field, and all of a sudden that turned into nothing, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, but Fozzie the Bear needs to freaking do something else. And then, and I know exactly what he could do. Be a game show host. Have that not go well ratings wise. Your career is spiraling out of control. Everything's lost to you. And you fly the coop. Kind of like the late great Ray Cobes. Who will never top Richard Dawson. No matter how decent he is. And that's the path Fozzie the Bear will lead. Because you will never top George Carlin. So help me God. Which reminds me. Do you want to know what the Ten Commandments should be? No, nobody needs to know. All right, fine. The Ten Commandments should be. Thou shalt always be honest and faithful to the provider of thy nookie. And thou shalt try real hard not to kill anyone. Unless they pray from a different invisible man from the one you pray to. And if there's a third one, it should be, they shall keep thy religion to thyself. That was three. Why is it three? Have you not watched these fucking... All right, that does it.
for bringing the Stone Age Commander Loser. And did you fucking review that skit? God, you're a lunatic. Fine, I'll change it back. Mystical, magical, mystical, magical. Make Commander Xander do reviews all over again. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell does it mean? Excellent. The amnesia seems to be working quite well. <laughs> Will Gonzo be the next Evil Knievel? Now that I do believe is going to happen. Have you seen his incredibly insane stunts? Like the one time he tried to hypnotize himself while lifting a 500 ton weight? And guess how that worked out? He walked out of there like a fucking accordion. He's daring enough to do just about anything. Which is why I think he will be the next Evil Knievel. In that he will go down a ramp on his motorcycle, go through the ring of fire! Oh, go walk it, yo, ho, ho, ho. And over a flying great white shark. And land in the water, piranhas will be eaten alive. And that'll be his untimely death. But that's the way to go out if you're gonna be the next Evil Knievel. So help me God. <laughs> Who was the best guest star on The Muppet Show? Alice Cooper, and there's no fucking debate about that. Oh, that's a fucking lie. I say Peter fucking Sellers. Peter Sellers over Elton John, over Paul Simon, over Julie Andrews, over Alice fucking Cooper. Yes, Peter Sellers makes a terrific Inspector Clutch. That doesn't mean he was the best guest star. Alice Cooper. Because I was by far the darkest Muppet show you have ever seen. So dark that kids can't even watch it. And that's what makes Alice Cooper so intimidating. You do not want to mess with that snake lover. Just ask Eric Forbin. He was eaten, or he was uh, fed to the snake. In that one episode of that 70s show. You know the one where Donna gets a new radio show. And all of a sudden, Eric is daydreaming about what's going to happen between the two of them. And Donna is having a time of her life with Alice Cooper. And Cooper says, let's feed your boyfriend to the snake. Well, it turns out that's what fucking happened. Because that was Nagini. Lord Voldemort's snake. Who ended up eating away Eric Foreman. Yeah, that's right. Alice Cooper is a noteworthy believer of Lord Voldemort. And yes, I'm mentioning his name. For those who are afraid of he who must not be named, I will say it again. Lord Voldemort! Lord Voldemort! Lord Voldemort! But we're getting off topic here. Alice Cooper was fucking intimidating. And by golly, is his songs phenomenal. You cannot top that. Elton John was a close second, though. You see my, you see my pattern here? Musical guest shows. One actor's nada. Eat your heart out, Star Wars. Nobody likes Mark Hamill. Unless he's the Joker. Yes. Which Muppet movie is the best one? The Muppet movie. What? I know what you're thinking. Why the Muppet movie? When you have the great Muppet caper, the Muppet Sick Man in, the Muppet Christmas Carol, the Muppet Wizard of Oz, although that one wasn't that great of a movie. The Muppets! The Muppets Most Wanted! Or something like that. Because the Muppet movie was iconic in its own unique way. It's the first Muppet movie that ever came out. And by golly, was it an instant classic. And it still is to this very day, even though it doesn't get as recognized as it did back then. Why? Because golly, is it a hit. Not to mention the plot is spectacular. And that's how they all get together. And voila! That's what happened to the Muppet show. So yes, I do pick the Muppet movie. Anybody got a problem with that? Um, I like the Muppet Wizard of Oz in my mouth. What? That was the worst one! Alright. You're just as clueless as Commander Loser, Willie. So you get the same treatment. Hey, by the way, when are you going to do a review? Oh yeah, never, because I just disintegrated you. <laughs> Nobody likes you anyways. Alright, I'll take them back. Mystical, magical, mystical, magical. Will he be a hobo? Come back and change him. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Yeah, 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 wait, no, we don't have time for that crap. Next question. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? That's 
Hands up, Muppet related! I know what you're thinking. Why did you say that when Sesame Street was technically made by the Muppets? Who gives a fuck? It's Sesame Street! It's that way! Yeah, go right there. Actually, it's right down below me. If you just want to go down below me. <laughs> ha! I tricked you, you're an owl now! <laughs> Wink, whack, I'm only! Yes! Does Doug Walker make a mean Kermit impression? Oh, you better believe it! I know what you're thinking. What the hell do you mean? Do you mean like a really good Muppet or like mean as in mean? Well, I'll let you be the judge of this. Courtesy of... Not you. Although I love your music. Michael Levy. Let's kill this for a second, goddammit. Because we want to hear Doug Walker's. Boys and girls, what brought the orgy to a grinding halt in Tara's Cybermet Invasion Fort? Yeah! And that's not even the best oh, part. Oh, you're to be tired? Oh! Thanks. Oh, read it, Edwin. I am so sorry. Am I... <laughs> Watch. This is the best part. That's right. That's your proof. Any questions? Uh, what is it, Kermit? I'm not even gonna bother you anymore. You're too pathetic. Yes, that is an awesome Kermit the Frog impression. Now, while we're on the subject of Doug Walker, let me be in your jail. Let me be in your jail. Let me be in your jail. Why was Batman never connected with the Muppets? Because the Muppets are happy and prideful and Batman is dark and cruel. Do I know why? Because I'm Batman! This is the Mizzou Playboy with the glasses saying, There's no such thing as a dumb question, but there are awesome Muppets! Yay! You dumbass! <laughs>